Hello and welcome to New Filmmakers Los Angeles in a wonderful virtual interview with the ever wonderful Jonathan Hammond with his movie before. Hey Jonathan. Hi Danny, how are you? Good, all is good. Glad we can make this happen. Um, but for those that haven't seen your movie before, let's take a look at a clip. Hey Ash. Hey beautiful, guess what? You're on your way to my dinner. No, Justin's home. Hey, Sparkles. Oh, oh my God. We're gonna celebrate tonight. How was filming? <laughs> nope, gotta go, bye. Um, Jonathan, um, returning alumni, uh, uh, just thank you for keep making more movies for us because we, we really need your great, uh, your great talented, you know, comedic style film uh, for us at the moment. So thank you for bringing before. Uh, but for those that haven't seen it, tell us a brief synopsis of your film. Um, so before the plot, it's very simple. It's just basically, <laughs> um, uh, it was a movie we made over quarantine where we had it socially distanced. So I uh, have invited a number of my friends, um, the actors with whom I generally work, or my company. Uh, we, I invited them over for dinner. And one by one, they uh, they come up with an excuse to not show up, and then it, that excuse uh, sort of parallels what's to come with the uh, the pandemic and the tropes of the pandemic. And um, so everyone calls in with the iPhones. So that way, we were able to make a movie that uh, was um, you know intimate and funny, but we could also show socially distance. Yeah. And honest and organic so i guess i told you more than the plot but that's no i love it no and, and also like it was it was it, it was so nice to be just entertained in, in in a film and have something that felt so kind of real as well um um it was really great and i really wanted to come to your dinner party you're, I was you're invited party. Next time. oh thank you i was like i was i wasn't gonna let you down um, no, it was really, really great. And I love all the people that you brought in. And you're really, I love watching you on camera as well. You're really fascinating. You, you have really, uh, you know, great, great comedic reactions even as well. And I just felt sorry for your whole character and what you're going through. Um, so obviously, you know, it said this is, I love that you were to make this film during the pandemic and well done you for being creative during this time. Um, dare I ask you, I mean, of course it has references to, or oh, we've all kind of socially distanced during this time, but where did the kind of inspiration come for you? And like, I want to turn this into a film. This, you know, they asked me, I, I, I really don't remember. I think it was, uh, it, it wasn't, I know I would say it was, um, it came from a place of inspiration so much as uh, in necessity. Like this is something we, we want to do something. We want to keep creating movies. Um, my writing partner, Ryan Roach, um, he lives in LA, I live in San Diego, and he was furloughed from work. So he, uh, he, he it, it was pretty comical, he had just moved into a much smaller apartment with a roommate, um, and he's like, can I come stay with you in San Diego, where there, it's a little more, like, I, I'm not as, I'm more in the country where I live. Yeah. So he's like, can I come stay with you while I'm furloughed? And I said, get tested. If you're negative, you can. So he did. So we're here. And we're like, what can we do? You know, let's let's try to be productive and, and write things. Love it. So that that that's where it came from. Um, yeah, I think we we did a few like um, little fun, maybe not as high quality um, movies for quarantine. Uh, a lot over Zoom and things like that. You know, more like sketches. But um, it was so well written. It was so well written, written Jonathan. Like it really was, and I I I I enjoyed it. It was, and it felt, and it's sad, but it felt so real. And I felt like we've all maybe been in the situation, you know, of either side of of having to kind of cancel plans. Yeah. And sometimes it's like it's hard because it's not always that you want to. There's things that are coming in the way, and it's you know, it's it just felt very very real. What I was fascinated about it was was just I was like, oh my goodness. Firstly, you crammed a lot in a very short space of time, and I was thinking. How do you, if you could educate us all, how do you, how, how, how do you film when you've got it on your phone or your, you know, or an, on a, on, on a digital tablet? Like, how do you do that and, and, and film it? And, and is there any tricks to it as well? Um, to, well, we, we gave everybody the script and we just asked them to like film it. I mean, with themselves. And so 
I think, um, th I know there's really any tricks. We just, we, um, the, the shots where they're on the camera, they're on the camera, and, and we just put a little filter over to make it sound like they're on the TV. Um, but in terms of cramming all the story in, our writing style, that's one of the, that's the thing I'm most proud about as a writer is trying to um, fit in as much story as you can without it being overkill, making it yeah. feel like it's a story. Uh, so we tend to write uh, a little bit like the kitchen sink and yeah. then zero down into what is um, necessary, uh, try to be as efficient and, and emotionally honest as possible. Um, and then it, it leaves you with the, the best dialogue. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I just, I mean, I, you always, but the thing is, I always want more. So I'm like, you know, you oh. left me, you left me wanting more. So I was, I was, uh, so, you know, I mean, if, you, if you, you could have turned it into a feature, I mean, it was, it was, it was just very bad. It was just very, I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed Thank it. Thank you. And, and for you on camera, how was that experience for you being the person on camera? <laughs> no, I, I, I'm not, I'm not crazy about it. Uh, <laughs> I, um, I can't see myself and you know, you judge myself and what I, and I, I, I was in, I had quarantine diet, so I had been eating really poorly and not been to the gym in months. So I, what I happen? see is my belly and like this, <laughs> um, but, uh, there are moments where I watch it like that was, that was, I think actually funny, uh, <laughs> but it was you know, doing it, I'm like, I'm over, I'm overacting. I'm not, I'm not being, I'm not being No, honest. I thought it was real. But, but seeing it, I'm like, oh, that wasn't that bad, you know? And of course, I edited the movie too, so I was able yeah. to <laughs> edit the better things. Well, don't worry, you look, you look great on cameras. I don't even Thank worry you. about that, um, you know, um, and, and hopefully you got through that nice bottle of wine that you were drinking. Uh, I, I did, I was, I think it was the first time I drank since the quarantine started. <laughs> wow. Uh, the first hangover, uh, my first cor uh, quarantine hangover was the next day. Well, that was, that was an, right. the fact that you, that was the first time you drank during quarantine, that's an achievement in itself. <laughs> so, so yeah. Uh, what was the kind of, I mean, I know it's, again, you, 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 I love the, you know, I love your style, how you throw the kitchen sink at it and just, you know, come away with what, what, what you want to put in there. But what was the biggest challenge in, in, in making the film, if there was any? I, you know, I, I wouldn't, <laughs> compared to other movies, I, I, I'm lucky that I've, I've had a like major challenge free career. Um, I would just say there, there was, um, there was a lot more dialogue, uh, cutting, cutting down, uh, so you can still get the essence of the characters, mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and being honest, things like that. Um, and just try to, we, our, our, our goal is to make a movie that's five minutes. I mean, you know, what I really like too about, about, how, how, how you, how you, how you write to, how you write, obviously with your, you know, writing partner is, I love how you just kind of, again, you, you give us almost like there's, there's, there's always something, there's something new almost instantaneously, which I love. Is that something you kind of like to incorporate yeah. into your work? Yeah. Thank you for, thank you for saying that too. I really, really appreciate that. Um, yes. So we, every, uh, we, 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 every character we want to be uh, new and original and fresh and like just have surprises um, that are honest and organic. That's that's super important. But um, just surprises that come with the characters and or the plot. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. We. Yeah. I don't know if I, this is a conscious thing, but we definitely. That's definitely our mo. Yeah. No, I love it because it feels like my 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 brain is being fed like like a lot, and wow. I love the it's 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 no, it's very entertaining. Uh, well, listen, what's also great is that you you know, in this very interesting worldwide experience right now, you know, just to give us a bit of a laugh and some entertainment, it was so refreshing to just watch your film and just you know cackle to myself as I did, um, you know, at home when I was watching it. And so, um, you know, what is it like being able to share this film and, and what's the reaction been like? We've obviously loved having your film at New Filmmakers LA. Um, Thank you. How's that been for you? Uh, so this is the first festival we sent it to. I love uh, it. So um, you are the reaction. Uh, oh. so thank you. Uh, that's, uh, that's you know, we, we, I sent it to my, my mom and our friends and everyone's, oh, I love, we get that a lot with our friends. Uh, so when you have someone objectively telling you, someone like mm -hmm. independent of your uh, friend circle, mm -hmm. this is the first time we're hearing anything of it. But uh, we we had a gate, we had a sense that it was uh, people were laughing, and uh, we had a lot of like this is awesome from again family friends. But uh, well, 
you, 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 no, of course. And we obviously we, 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 we love it. So, you know, it's a great reaction from us, but I, I, I you, you know, you've had a, you've done so many amazing things in your career and, you know, I always, I, I just, I love listening to you and, and, and hearing from you and hearing your Thank thoughts you. and such. Um, I'm always, you know, again, like, I think it's also inspirational in it, particularly in this time to just, just go out there and just create something and make something and utilize the time in the time that we have before we all go back to normality, hopefully. Um, but kind of what advice do you, do you have any, you know, advice to do and maybe particularly during these times? Cause you know, I mean, we do have time at the same time we, it feels weird, but anything you could share with other filmmakers that want to go out there and just make something. Cause I think, you know, you did it. Um, I would have to say my advice right now is to, um, the, uh, we are in a time, I mean, it, 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 it's, I'm stating the obvious, but we're in a time that's unlike yeah. anything ever. And so I, I feel like getting through the day, it's, it's like, just if you're walk, if it'd be walking, it'd be like walking through a pool of water. Like yeah. just, so I just say be, be be kind to yourself. Like I'm, I'm hard on myself when I'm writing. I beat myself up. Um, I, I, I I I like that. Um, but I just just be kind. You know, yeah. it's it's that's my advice. I mean, I, I I don't. I think there's something with the energy of the world, like the creative energy, that is stifling. So yeah. like doing like little movies like this was unusually hard would normally be like exhilarating mm -hmm. and it's just because of what, where we are yeah. yeah i love that you said that that's actually what my partner says to me he says be kind to yourself stop beating yourself and being so hard on yourself and i think that's, that's such an right. important thing to to share um you know it really is an important thing to share and and to encourage each other you know filmmakers no filmmakers anybody out there we got to be kind on ourselves and not put ourselves under so much pressure well i'm glad um so i know it's difficult times but what is what is next for you jonathan at the moment what's going on um well a lot of things <laughs> we um as i said yesterday i have a, a documentary that's streaming on um, the pbs app um, um, for this it's called Expect a Miracle. It's about um, a, a, a place, a house in San Diego that um, took in uh, gay men dying of AIDS when their families rejected them. So they have a place where they can die with love and dignity. So that is streaming. I'm getting ready. I'm currently working on a documentary uh, with the uh, Joan P. Kroc uh, Perform Peace Foundation grant about um, uh, Somali refugee children putting on a play. Mm. And uh, I'm also getting ready to do another documentary that I don't know if I'm allowed to say what it's about. Um, we also have a short, I just uh, got, um, secured two pretty good producers for a short that we're making. It's a, uh, it's similar to this, it's a crime mm -hmm. a parody, love, whatever. And then um, we have a, um, a full length that we just finished uh, writing um, that I can't wait. And I just optioned a short story to adapt into a full length. So I have, I have a lot going on. Like just, just, Jonathan, you got- This happened this week, so it's- Congratulations on all of that. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah no I, I you know you, you i love the i mean i love the stories that you you you, you know you're, you're you're sharing with us and i, I can't Thank wait you. to watch your show uh watch your um you know your film on on, on pbs it's really yeah. very exciting and, and a great subject and can't wait for you to take Thank it you. to malia too and everything else you know i have another short that's going to be on all it's called kathy and it'll be on altar in a couple months too oh amazing so, amazing Right. Jonathan's a really hard worker. It's always inspirational talking to you. Yeah, and, 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 you. and thanks for bringing your film back to us. Thank you. Thank you for inspiring us. And um, we're looking forward to seeing all of the work that's coming up with you as well. So thank you very much, Jonathan. Thank you, Danny. Thank, thank you. Thank you, everybody.